this is only my third year trapping so I don't know what I'm doing I'm learning as I go I have no friends or family or trappers I'm all self-taught so just know that if you want to learn how to trap and you're interested in trapping go to my YouTube homepage go to channels and just scroll through it I probably have 20 or 30 trapping channels on there and most of them are all very educational some a little more on the entertaining side but check out Trapper J, Iowa Trapper, Coon Creek Trapper, North American Trapping there's tons of good YouTube trapping channels if you're just learning like I am here's a cool little crossover comes out of the little pond comes over the dike pretty sure you'll be able to see it pretty good goes right down there out into that water I've caught muskrat and coon here before I'm gonna set a trap right there just under the water right on the trail blind set Here's one of my favorite muskrat sets to find. If you can find like a little island clump surrounded by water, <clears throat> there's a crossover right through the middle of it, a little bit of a feed bed. Perfect spot for a blind set. Here's my transportation. <laughs> my daughter's old wagon when she was a baby. It works pretty good. Little easier than the sled without having snow. Back at the big pond at Jack's property. You can see that beaver hut's not active. There's a muskrat feed mound right in the old duck blind. There's another beaver house down there that is active. I found a new feed mound right here that I've never found before. I don't think it's ever been here. It doesn't look super active, but you can kind of see they had a run right there. They have another run right there where they're climbing in and out. There is one bank den hole going underneath this mound right here. So. I'm going to put a 110 there, one and a half duke here, one and a half duke there. Just found this really cool crossover going right back there and cutting down a quake and aspen tree. Doesn't appear that he's been back here in a little bit, but I'll definitely keep an eye on it. I've only gone about 30 more yards and here's another crossover going into that marsh down to the creek more than likely cutting down trees you can see some trees there and right there's this feed bed so I have at least one property that has at least one beaver on it most of my beaver properties uh, or no go this year unfortunately this won't show up good on camera but this was like a eight foot deep channel they dug out of the dike to drain the pond and the beaver have built the dam all the way back up to normal level that's impressive I don't know if it's gonna show up but there's possum tracks coon tracks going underneath this bridge so I made like a little slide put a little bit of my coon bait on it and there over here on this side of the little oxbow made a mud slide with some bait on it DP right on top trying to keep them out of the water well that changes things they cut the corn must have been one of the days I was out of town. I'll set some traps, but last year when they cut the corn, I never caught a coon up here again. 
This might be a lot of work for nothing. I'm at my last stop on the cornfield. And I just found the best looking coon trails I have ever found on my property. Insane coon trails. If I don't have at least one coon here in the next couple days, I might as well retire. I'm at the big pond now. Just got to my first set. And you see a foothold right there, nothing in it. But I have a 110 right there. And I'm pretty sure there's a muskrat in it. Got over here where my other trap was and I don't see my trap under the ice so I can't set my camera anywhere so I'm just gonna have to pull them out and then I'll show you if I caught anything muskrat double got one in the foothold and this old boy he got suitcased that's cool I didn't think there's too many rats left in here I mean, I'd hate to catch them all, but that's what the landowner wants. Second stop at the big pond. The old duck blind set. And if you can see them, there's a rat. Big rat. That is awesome. And just a little tip for people just learning to trap or if you're just interested in trapping. When you're water trapping and you have ice build up on the fur, do not break it off. Just leave it, let it melt. It'll rip hair out and downgrade your fur. Got me a mud ball. <clears throat> He probably destroyed my mink set from the looks of it. I'm going to circle around and dispatch him. Hopefully he doesn't go in the creek, but he's going to. Trap number four on the edge of the cornfield. Decent coon. I can see my next trap, nothing in it. Then I have my triangle of death on that major coon trail. Triangle of death got two coons, a double. That's four coons on my first check day. You stay there, little guy. Nothing in that DP. That's a pretty big one. It's getting yellow, but... That's probably the biggest coon of the day right there. Nice. This little guy had both feet and a DP. Just put in my first canine set for the season. This is the only kind of dirt hole I've caught critters in. Well, canines in. Fox and a coyote. Just like a step down dirt hole. Yeah, there's the first day catch. Can't complain about that. Better than I expected. Critters moved good last night. <laughs>